and really I think has been convicted in the public place for the other the other sexual harassment. And because his crimes are so outrageous, no one will even talk about what came out in the news, settling cases for raping women, biting them, beating them up, choking them. I mean, we're going to read post all those old articles from the 90s. We're on the march. The empire's Good on job, the Rand run. Good job, Rand Paul. That's leadership, Alex buddy. Alex Jones and the GCN Let's give them hell. Radio Let's Network. Let's go. Let's go, 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 go. Go, get aggressive. In the last 50 years, iodine has been phased out of our staple foods and replaced with the halogen bromine, a practice now banned in nations around the world. Guess what else is in the halogen family? Fluoride. Ladies and gentlemen, Alex Jones here. In 1924, the federal government did the right thing and encouraged salt producers to add iodine. It's the good halogen on the periodic table. And the results are on record, reports documented, a 15-point IQ increase in areas that had previously been deficient in iodine. Bottom line, iodine is important. Unbound, clean, in a glycerin base. Nascent iodine was the answer for myself and my family. You will find Survival Shield nascent iodine exclusively at InfoWarsLife.com. InfoWars Life Survival Shield nascent iodine isn't just for emergencies. I take it every day. That's InfoWarsLife.com or call toll free 888-253-3139. Alex Jones here with a message to fellow freedom lovers. The prognosis for the entire planetary economic system runs from bad to worse. The globalist model is to shut down societies and starve patriots out until they acquiesce to the global takeover. That's why we've assembled the most vital and important preparedness items at InfoWarsShop.com. These are items that I did research on, that I personally use. We've got the life straw, so you can turn fetid water into safe water anywhere you go. The KTOR hand crank generator to charge up key equipment during power outages or out in the field. Strategic relocation, third edition by Joel Skousen. When disaster strikes by Matthew Stein. Therosafe used by Homeland Security to protect yourself during any radiological event. Hand crank shortwave AM FM radios. Everything that we've researched and found to be the best is available at InfoWarsShop.com and your purchase makes our InfoWar possible. We're getting prepared. Are you? InfoWarsShop.com Introducing Pro One. All of your filtration in one system, portable, on the go. No more do you have two or three filters to just reduce sodium fluoride. You have a system that cuts out the sodium fluoride and up to 95% of hydrofluorosilicic acid. Advanced manufacturing technology combines silver impregnated white ceramic with new Aquamedics advanced media for removal of fluoride and other heavy metals, all in one filter element. It is the only one that does it and out of the gate, we have it discounted at 10% off with promo code WATER. This is the only system that in one unit helps reduce or remove pesticides, herbicides, chloramines, ammonia, and chlorine, hydrofluorosilicic acid, the most common form of fluoride not covered by other fluoride filter brands, and sodium hexafluorosilicate. Get your Pro Pure with a new Pro One filter today at InfoWarsStore.com or by calling 888-253-3139. This is an emergency transmission from FEMA Region 6 in occupied North America. There is a war. It's happening now. It will decide the fate of humanity. The time to choose sides has come. We are the resistance. We are the info war. Ladies and gentlemen, again, thank you so much for joining us on this live Friday, 7th day of February 2014. I'm going to be the big 40 next Tuesday. Wow, 40 years old, 40 years young. For a lot of people, that is super young to even get into media by the time you're 40. I've been doing this since I was 21 years old. So I'm kind of uh, long in the tooth when it comes to media careers. Uh, coming up from the very, very grassroots bottom, the true American success story, um, promoting ideas of liberty, reporting uh, muckraking news stories uh, that they call conspiracy theories that are now, unfortunately, all mainstream news. Simply amazing. Uh, getting back, though, to Rand Paul and Bob Barr, uh, who's going to really be in dynamite watch once he gets into Congress. And, of course, I'm going to be encouraging him to be vicious uh, because in the face of viciousness, you've got to be vicious back. 
and the fake moral high ground of Bill Clinton and Obama and Michelle and just all of them, I'm sick of it. That, oh, they're the liberals, so they're allowed to keep half the money from the Haitian fund so Bill Clinton can have a fleet of $40 million jets paid for. It's not a fleet. He has like three of them I was reading. A group they lease of three jets. So he has whole entourages on wide body jets. They're like $100,000 per leg, basically. The most expensive stuff you can have. I mean, other than Google having brand new, you know, 777s or whatever. I mean, this is out of control. I guess Google just bought a Dreamliner, too. I guess that's the newest thing out there. You know, that's fine. Whatever. It didn't come from Haitian kids. And it's just knowing these crooks, knowing what a crook Rahm Emanuel is, literally, and, and up there with a the moral high ground. I'm tired of it. Bought and paid for by the Wall Street Sharks, who are literally running this country and this world into the ground. Now, we got breaking news with David Knight on the sniper attacks on Transformers that I believe have all the earmarks of a false flag terror attack to pass cybersecurity. And we've said over and over again, they're going to stage these events and then hype them to pass the Internet takeover. They've already got the Internet takeover in place. They just want to make it legal now. So David Knight's got the big scoop on this underreported uh, story. that Because sometimes they have false flags that are just used in Congress. But they keep quiet and go, we don't want to panic the public. Uh, but I'd give it about a 90% chance the Obama administration staged these sniper attacks or, or a branch of the Pentagon, Northcom, to get cybersecurity in. It might, 10% chance, it could be a corporation doing it just because of the tens of billions these big companies will get in the cybersecurity takeover. And the power they get on getting that data and being able to predict the future and controlled economies. So I'd give it a 100% chance it's a inside job. 90% chance uh, that it's the government itself because even corporations can be doubled back on and double crossed, triple crossed and don't like to do stuff like this. They like to help do false flags lovingly, of course, uh, but they don't like um, they don't like actually uh, you know getting their little their little paws dirty sometimes. So that's coming up months later. Sniper attack at Power Hub still a mystery. New York Times and yesterday they were in Congress bringing it up. Why well, we've got to pass CISPA, you know, and and you know we've got to pass uh, cybersecurity takeover because in 19 minutes a team of Snipers destroyed 17 Transformers at a power station in California. And it was precision where they were shooting them. And then they disappeared one minute before the police arrived. We'll delve into this mystery with David Knight coming up here uh, in just a few minutes. Uh, some of the other top stories that are so incredibly report, uh, important are up on Infowars.com. Man who fled communism blast Oregon lawmakers for gun control attempt. Very powerful article by Mikhail Thelen. Another article was Jay Leno canned by NBC for criticizing Obama. I don't know. Do fish swim in the ocean? Do bears live in the woods? You know my stupid sayings. DARPA boffin. Future government surveillance will be like Apple Siri. Very important article by Steve Watson. I'm going to tie that into Bitcoin in a minute. Scientists confirm Fukushima radiation in California kelp. That's why the kelp we sell, the modifylin, is from the southern hemisphere from New Zealand. Uh, also, we have this Ambassador Newland audio reveals State Department role in undermining Ukraine. They want total chaos and the breakdown of Ukraine from Russia and the EU so the big banks can come in and loot it. See, there's not even a national sovereignty issue now of where you do divide and conquer and order out of chaos, so you're number one. That's bad enough. Now it's purely so financial interest can liquidate and, and dissolve like a mosquito through its proboscis injects saliva. That's why it itches so bad. that then dissolves the platelets so it can suck up a larger quota of nourishing blood and, and, and other juices. And that's what they do. They go in and dissolve a society, then pose as a savior, and esanguiate, I believe is the proper term for the uh, proboscis, then slurping it back up, uh, continuing. Think about Bill Clinton's proboscis. Uh, let's continue here. Uh, big ugly nose on him. Yeah, it's usually stuck in the cocaine bucket. But that's because he's liberal. It's a good deal, Larry. Oh, I did not have sex with that woman. That's just so ridiculous. Continuing, Kentucky police, I never got to this, set up eating while driving checkpoints. That is an in, 
incredible article, and we have a video on that. We'll be getting to that in the next hour. And I want to get Dr. Paul Craig Roberts on today or Sunday. He's got a good article about Washington destabilizes Ukraine, and that's now proven out in the open. And also coming up in the next hour, I will cover this in detail. Pew study, Christians are the world's most oppressed religious group, one of the most prestigious uh, polling and research groups, Pew Research, uh, Pew research finds Christians are the most persecuted. They, they are the most persecuted by a giant long shot. And then after that is Muslims, Jews, others. Folk religions, Hindus, Buddhist. So there you go, folks. Christians are being slaughtered and the globalists are funding that and, 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 and supporting that world, worldwide. So that's some of the news that's coming up. By the way, uh, Watson did a video yesterday that went viral titled The Truth About uh, Russia and Putin's Anti-Gay Stance. Ladies and gentlemen, I'm a tolerant person. Uh, and, and, you know, everybody knows who's been listening to me for 18 years that the whole sex thing is just not my bag. I'm not here on a high horse lecturing people all day. I, I really am not obsessed with what you do in your bedroom. I just want to really be honest with everybody out there. But I've been forced to cover it because I'm sick of it. I cannot watch any TV show, any movie, any anything without sexualization propaganda. I don't care if it's heterosexual or homosexual. It's mainly homosexual targeting my children. And, and I'm sick of it. And I'm sick of not being able to watch a sporting event or the Olympics or a sitcom. Anything I watch. I got to watch Turner Classic Movies with my children when I let them watch TV once or twice a week. Or I got to find old cartoons or whatever. Because it, it is just unbelievable. And that's all they're saying is stay away from kids. Don't push it on people. Uh, and uh, the media is just freaking out about it. I actually look forward to being able to watch the Olympics with my children. Except when an NBC has all of the propaganda during their breaks. But if you're, if you're Johnny on the spot with a remote, you know, it won't show the guys or girls kissing every time you, you go to break. And I mean, it's just stop it. Stop it. Stop it. I mean, stop trying to beat everybody over the head with it. And again, I mean, here's an example. Let's say I loved a steakhouse. Or let's say I loved a particular store. But if they stood outside my house beating on pots and pans, well, see, it's not like I love it. I just don't. It's not my issue. I don't hate anybody. I'm neutral. I'm tolerant. But if you stand outside my house just going, gay, 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 like the monkey beating the symbols together, I mean, it gets really, really old the way it's being pushed, uh, and it needs to stop. And it's a cultural wedge because all our other basic liberties are being removed. And so they want to create these faux liberties. Like I saw in the news yesterday, yes, more schools in the first grade, you've got to let the little boys go in the girls' bathroom. And, and, and little five-year-olds are not thinking about dressing like boys or girls. Either way, it's how your parents dress you. They are literally trying to sexualize our children. And if they can get away with that, the sky's the limit. I mean, I've had enough of this. And I'm not even depending Putin. I mean, the city they've picked for it is the lowest quality place where they can suck the most money out of it for the Russian mob. I mean, Russia's got its own sick issues, but it's amazing. Speaking of Bitcoin, then we're going to go to our big story this hour. Bitcoin plunges as major exchange Mount Gox halts all withdrawals. And, and that's all I've ever said about Bitcoin is... The bigger they are, the harder they fall, and it's just, I've had a bad feeling. And I'm not saying you were dumb to be part of it. I'm not against the currency. I'm all for cryptocurrencies and independent currencies. It's just that the government's going to use Bitcoin's fall, I believe, down the road. Maybe I'm wrong. They're going to use its fall to discredit all cryptocurrencies and basically try to arrest a bunch of people involved. That's why... I go with my gut now. My gut was always right my whole life, but I was always stupid and didn't follow it. Now I am servile to my gut, servile to it. And I just, it does not steer me wrong. It's my conscience, my discernment, God-given gift. And you've got it too, folks, if you learn how to use it. And, and, and you know, maybe it'll end up not being bad, but my gut tells me, don't walk, run away from Bitcoin. Everybody's going to get mad at me because it's a big liberty thing everybody's been sucked into. Look, aren't you glad I'm there to give the, you know, the other side about it? If you made some money in it, great. But don't you feel sorry for those that are going to get caught holding the bag. And hey, if you want to be a stockbroker, do it. Go get into bubbles.